Barangaroo is central to the story of Sydney and ancient indigenous history, a significant maritime heritage and soon a spectacular future with a restored headland, huge public open spaces and new financial entertainment and arts precincts. The site of Barangaroo has always symbolised Sydney's confidence and our city's embrace of the future. It's not the first time Barangaroo has led the way. Barangaroo was actually the home of some really great early innovation. Uh, 150 years ago, Gasworks was created. It enabled us to light the streets of Sydney. From 1841, gas lamps lit up Sydney. Much of the gas was sourced from a gasworks on land now being transformed into Barangaroo. In these early times, our city had become the first outside Europe to have gas street lighting. Within just two years, Sydney had 165 gas lamps, and most of them were outside pubs, a measure designed to deter riotous hordes of villains. The gasworks operated for almost a century, until 1918, when the gas light network was being replaced by electricity. Even back then, Barangaroo was the home of cutting edge technology. Gas was produced by burning coal, then piped to light the streets of Sydney. It was a momentous step forward for the colony. But like gas works in hundreds of locations around the world, including dozens in New South Wales, the Millers Point facility left a legacy, contaminated soil. Gas lighting was exciting and modern at the time, but the environmental practices around producing gas and later shutting down the operations were not what we expect today. The good news is that because this was a common problem, the world now has decades of experience at safely cleaning up the coal tar residue left on these sites. The EPA has directed that the site be remediated and as custodian of the site, the Barangaroo Delivery Authority will manage the process and engage expert contractors with national and international expertise. This work will be completed as a two-part process. Within the borders of Barangaroo, the authority will remediate the land using the conventional dig, treat and fill method. The affected soils will be removed, treated off-site and then disposed in landfill elsewhere. Walls will be sunk from ground level to the bedrock in order to both contain and isolate the soil and water. Then one or two large pressurised tents will cover the area to give workers all weather protection and contain odours. The dig, treat and fill method is a proven safe, effective way of removing soil that's contaminated by coal tar. While the dig, treat and fill method would be possible underneath Hickson Road, it would lead to significant disruption to vehicle and pedestrian traffic over the course of several years. That would be possible, but a slow, meticulous process given the extent of underground electrical, gas and water infrastructure in that location. So, at Hickson Road, the authority has engaged international experts in a pilot project aimed at neutralising the contamination where it is, underneath the road. We have contractors with a proven track record at cleaning up these sites safely and with minimal inconvenience both in Australia and overseas. For the Hickson Road remediation, technicians will neutralise the contaminants to render them non-toxic. The process is called ISCO, in situ chemical oxidation, a pilot project which will run for up to a year. The objective here is to keep disruption to a minimum. If the pilot project is proven as successful, the ISCO process will be used to neutralise gasworks contaminants in other underground structures beneath the road. The alternative is to excavate the contamination and remove the material, which is entirely possible and is a process we are undertaking in other sections of the site. But underneath Hickson Road, this could cause larger disruptions to traffic, pedestrian access and public transport as we work carefully around the gas, water and power lines which lie beneath this road. We are piloting this process in an attempt to minimise those impacts. Barangaroo is one of the most exciting projects in urban renewal and the Barangaroo Delivery Authority is addressing the challenges that inevitably confront such an ambitious project. Our mission is to make Barangaroo not only one of the world's great urban redevelopments, but one that is safe for the public and the environment now and in the future.